Good morning, cultists. Welcome to a brand new breakfast with Cthulhu's. Today, we're going to be starting a new mini series. It's not going to be a full series of us playing Don't Starve, but it's just going to be maybe five or seven episodes. Or, you know, if we die before then, then I guess we'll kind of start the uh, next mini series. But this is a mini series that I promised um, our my guard, it's Aiden, who has uh, encouraged me to uh, continue on with Don't Starve in our previous season series. You know, he basically said that he'd like to watch me finish um, the uh, the the Weber's quest, uh, where we rescued um, both Wilbur and Woodlegs. And uh, at that point, I was kind of like, eh, "Do I really want to continue with the series? I'm not sure. Maybe I'll kind of give it a break." But then Aiden said that he wanted to watch more, so that kind of inspired me to continue. And so I'd like to kind of like dedicate the series to Oh my god, it's Aiden. I'm hoping I'm saying is your name right. Aiden? I know there's there's two A's in there. There's no E in there, right? So is it Aiden? Or is it just Aiden? I'm assuming it's Aiden, so I'm just gonna go with Aiden. But anyways, it's gonna be a mini series featuring Wilbur and Woodlegs. So we'll start off with Wilbur, because he's the first one that we rescued from um that uh, we rescued as Weber. And apparently, Wilbur is a monkey. I ha I would definitely not have noticed that had I not been uh, informed in text that he's in fact a monkey. So he slows a biped and fast as a quadruped, and he can't talk. Just to preface this, I did play a little bit as uh, Wilbur and Woodlegs, just to kind of get a feel for things, so it wouldn't die immediately. Which is always a possibility when it comes to me. So I'm going to start as Wilbur. The world is going to be default. And let's get going. I don't want to hear your shit, you stupid parrot. Alright. Let's get this started. It's been a couple weeks since I um, last played Don't Starve. And I do apologize for the time in between this episode and the end of the uh, Weber's Quest series. I meant to kind of like start things a little sooner, but... My work schedule kind of got the best of me, unfortunately. But, here we are. Playing as uh, Wilbur. It's good to be back in uh, the world of Don't Starve, naturally. As frustrating as it, as it can get at times, it's still one of my favorite games. Favorite games that I don't play often enough, I think. Okay. That's life, right? If we had all the time and money to play every single game that we wanted, well, then, life would just be peachy. Can't have that now, can we? Nope. Life has to be difficult. But let's... We're, you're not here to uh, listen to me complain about life. That's... that's silly. Can we pick it? No, if we pick it... okay, good. I was afraid that we might actually use our pick? Like, pickaxe to pick it? Oh shit, no, that... apparently that... Ah, damn it! No! Limpet rock! Oh, so... I'm so sorry, Limpet Rock. I didn't mean to do that to you. This rock, however, yes, I'm definitely okay with that. As you can see, we're still playing with the um, Fast Forward mod. And as usual, I will have a link to the mods in the descriptions. If I don't forget. But what we're gonna do is, in the first few days, is to... Um, of course, you know, gather as much resources as we can. And that's including, uh, shells. Because eventually we'll need them to make the armored boats and whatnot. So Wilbur, um, apparently when he's just walking around on two legs, he's a little slow. Like he's, I think he's slower than the, um, than the, all the other characters. But, as he's walking, if he keeps walking for a few seconds straight, he starts running, and so he can run much faster. Not quite sure how much faster in comparison to um, walking, but it's noticeably different for sure. So that's kind of one of his uh, strengths, which is kind of awesome. I like it. Let's also make a thatch pack. I don't forget. Fantastic. Get a hammer, get some free boards, and get it too. And we get ship repair kit, fantastic. 
And let's get a fire started so I don't, uh, you know, end up dying on the first day. Which, uh, has happened. And you'd be surprised how easily one can accomplish such a feat. Cook all of that. Thank you, Wilbur. Attaboy. And he sounds like a monkey grinder. It's kind of awesome. <laughs> I love it. And I think your hunger actually goes down a lot faster when you're running around on all fours. At least... I think so? Yeah, it seems like his hunger does go down faster when he's running. As opposed to when he's just walking around. Alright, so I think that's pretty much all we have to gain from this island. Although, maybe we'll get a few more... Uh, logs and um, coconuts, maybe? Alright, very cool. Fantastic. Ah! That thing does a lot of damage. 20 damage, holy crap. Let's take it out on the uh, butterflies. It will be very different for me playing as um, not Weber, considering that, you know, I'm not a monster anymore, so I don't think I'll be automatically attacking. Um, what's his name? Pack him. Good old Pack him Baggins. Got ourselves a boat. Uh, although, I think you actually sail slower as Wilbur, too, because of the reduced um, running or walking speed. I think that actually counts towards, uh... The reduction counts towards sailing as well, which is a little silly, I'm not gonna lie. It's a decision that I think may have been a bit of an oversight. Because you do a lot of sailing in, um, Shipwreck. In case that wasn't immediately obvious. And for the sailing speed to be slower, just because his running speed is slower, Seems a little, uh, strange to me. Oh, well, fantastic, we found gold. And I think from what I can tell, the monkeys don't actually disturb you because you are, in fact, their king. So, I haven't really tested it out too much, but I think they don't steal your shit, they don't follow you around and... throw dookie at you randomly. Oh, they never really used to throw dookie randomly, right? Am I just making that up? I'm just probably making that up. Apparently, I am not a font of, um, information, so don't believe anything I say, basically. Uh, it's already gonna be night, so let's get our fire ready. I don't think we need to put it down just yet. You know what? We'll put it down right now. Let's save our, our, um, boards, though. When did we make a torch? I didn't know we even had a torch, but okay, cool. I mean, I guess, you know, sometimes you just got a few torches in your backpack. Yay! I love that. That is seriously one of the best things ever. Zip through it, Wilbur. Can you get it all cooked before day? Oh, no, you didn't make it. You are disappointed, Wilbur. And apparently, Wilbur randomly just shits his pants, too. So that's another big bonus. If you're considering playing as Wilbur. Although, considering how long this game has already been out, it's, um... Yeah, considering how long this game has already been out, I would not at all be surprised if there was like a million and one, like, videos featuring Wilbur already. But, you know, if you like my personal brand of humor and, uh, psychopathy, then this is the place for you. Probably. Maybe? Possibly not. Who knows? <laughs> Let's get some more... Let's get some flint as well. I forget, is there a... Oh look, doubloons. Is there a... Cave equivalent? In, um... Shipwrecked? Oh, it's the volcano. Right, right, right. Except, as far as I could tell, the volcano was only one floor. I don't think it was actually, like, multiple floors, was it? Since I've already pretty much played the game, I should probably just look it, look it up in the Wikipedia rather than trying to get people to find the answer for me. 
Might make a lot more sense. Yay! I do love this Action Q Plus mod. Pretty much every mod that I play with, I genuinely have to love. It's just kind of a general rule. If I don't love it, I don't play with it. Probably. That's a lie. I'm pretty sure there are mods out there that I played with uh, that I play with on a regular basis that I find irritating at times. But you can be irritated by something or someone and still love them. Right? Maybe? Alright, well we are approaching our third night. <laughs> third night apparently. Great. I was afraid that might happen. I didn't think it would. I was kind of praying it wouldn't, but it happened. So there. Uh, sure, I guess we'll plant a couple of coconut trees. Because uh, we don't want them to go extinct. It's, I'm not saying that I'm going to like start my colony here, but you know. Regardless of whether or not I actually end up settling here, I should still avoid exterminating or committing Arboreal genocide. It's just... Yeah, apparently you can throw poop. That's a thing. That's pretty cool. Uh, maybe you should get a science machine started. Just to kind of get things... You know... Made and out of the way, perhaps? Because I know I want a backpack. And I know I can dr store stuff right in there, which is... Pretty handy dandy. And I will also make a shovel. I'll make a shovel, thank you. I don't need a pitchfork just yet, but once we get a um, base started, I will need to make a pitchfork and then get some wooden flooring around the place and make sure things shit doesn't get flooded. All that crap. What can I... You're saying I can invent something, but no, no, it's not. I lied. I'm sorry, man. I didn't mean to lie. Let's get a spear going though. Get some extra boards. Don't really need cut stone, so we'll just leave cut stone out of it, I guess. Should we get a rowboat? I think we should. Should definitely get a rowboat. So we need three vine, am I right? Uh we could use a machete or we could just dig it out. That would only use our spade once, then we can just plant it back. Although it does need to be re not refertilized, so maybe I shouldn't do that. Oh god, no! 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 Please! What have I done to you? You jerks. So you oh my god, really? He's just a hive of scum and villainy? Please die. Thank you. Good God. Thank you, Butterfly, for your generous sacrifice. Not that you really had a choice in the matter, but you know. Still, sacrifice nonetheless, right? Okay, good. That thing's done. Uh, we need one more. Okay, cool. And let's make sure I'm full up on health before I do anything else. Butterfly hunting is a very patient sport. Something that um, old um, mustachioed colonial type um, Englishmen used to enjoy. With their blunderbusses and shit. True story, look it up. Get a rowboat going and tools? No, no, that's. I think I'm pretty much. You know what? No, no, no. We need to get some. Let's get a thatch sail going. Yeah, let's get a thatch sail going because I need an alchemy engine to make um, cloth sails and snakeskin sails. So let's, yeah, two more bamboo and two more vine. Fantastic. Here's our first bamboo. First vine. Another vine. And second bamboo. Fantastic. Good job, buddy. Fantastic. Let's hammer this thing down, get some of its resources back. Sweet. And let's get our rowboat going. Rowboat, tell me you can take a thatch sail. Atta boy. You know what? 
I actually forgot. Oh shit. Can I make a- Ah, oh, crap. I need a science machine. Damn it! I'm an idiot. Ay ay ay. Okay, let's go south. Let's go with the tide so that we can at least get to wherever we're going faster. And hopefully wherever we're going is a place where there's... Like, it's like Paradise City? Where the grass is green and the girls are pretty? Is this Paradise City? Perhaps? Who knows? Let's get some refill on our resources while we're here. Just to... Oh, we got uh, spiders. I wouldn't say that they're completely necessary for Paradise City. But I guess they're a good addition to have just in case you need that silk, right? There's a lot of um, coconuts, which is fantastic. Although, the issue with coconuts, personally, is that I never remember to plant those coconuts back down. So that, oftentimes, I'm just like, Oh, shit, where'd all the coconut trees go? Well, guess what, buddy? You ate all the fucking coconuts. So there are no more coconut trees around, so... Good job, buddy. Good job. And by buddy, I'm a... I'm, of course, referring to myself, so... <sighs> Alright. Although, have there always been strange noises at night? Maybe I just never really noticed them. Supposed to show how, um, much I pay attention to my surroundings in video games. And in real life, mind you. Absolutely terrible at it. Fantastic. Oh, and I just shit my pants. Lovely. You know what? Let's uh, replant some of these coconuts. Maybe we should only use 50% of the coconuts that we actually um, find, rather than 100%. That way we have at least 50% of however many things we collect to use. Does that make sense? I hope so. Fantastic another coconut planted and I just need to find I, like if this place has a natural volcano or magma biome or whatever it's called then it might be paradise no 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 that's that doesn't necessarily mean it's paradise we need to also have a yam farm or no sweet potato farm for it to be have I already gotten like 20 seashells? Oh jeez, what a waste. Could have left that for uh, from some you know, emergency sanity boost, but no. I decided to waste it because I am not paying attention to what I'm doing. Nope, nope, nope. So there's a spider nest over there. Got some limpet rocks, which is fantastic. Two spider nests? Three, four spider nests. Okay, maybe this is not the paradise city that we've been... Can we stop? Just freaking mine instead of I don't know. Try to get stupid. Oh god, I just ate evil flowers. I'm an idiot. Yeah, it seems like the monkeys are definitely not following me around, which is a huge plus. Now, are they gonna pick up shit that's lying around? Like, are they gonna loot stuff? Like a dirty, greedy adventure? I'm just looking at the minimap and like... Trying to explore all the um, Fog of War places. Is there any gold that I missed? Yes, there's a couple of gold nodes that maybe I should try to get when uh, it's daylight out? So I don't actually accidentally walk into um, spider nests and get killed on like the first episode and just completely embarrass myself might be a good idea let's plant this thing all right um get some fill up on some grass get some more flint i don't think i need to harvest rocks i'm pretty good with that stuff right now 
Thankfully, he does have higher sanity than Weber, which is always a plus. I think Weber actually technically has the lowest sanity out of um, anyone. So if I throw this... Oh, it just... Dissipates. Okay, well, I should have just put that in the fire, but you know what? It's okay. These are the consequences that I have to live with. Let's get these... No, no, no. Don't go for the poop. No. Don't go for the poop. Alright? You can get enough of that on your own. You don't need to, like, just... Try to get poop. Yeah, it doesn't... It seems like they don't actually, um... Go for the, uh... What's it? Drop it. Oh, God. Fantastic. Alright, so let's go on another adventure. Let's try to find a new... New island where we're welcomed and appreciated. Unlike this place. Oh, thank goodness. The waves are going my way. Oh, watery graves. Could this be another island? Could this be Paradise City? Please. Please tell me that your grasses are green and your girls are pretty. So far, there's a little bit... That's it. That was... Worse than the other island. Where we got attacked by spiders. Could this be another place? Please. Please tell me that you're Paradise City. Uh, I always like to ch um, trace the... Outer edges of the islands? That I find? Just to kind of get a sense of like how big it is and shit. Okay. Cool, so we've got Mr. Piggy. And a free fishing pole, which is fantastic. Uh, just a whole bunch of sand. Not a ton of grass, and definitely no pretty, pretty girls. Okay, it's not Paradise City, I get it. A lot of crabs, though. Oh, can we... no, okay. <laughs> Apparently, the company that made uh, Don't Starve, or develops Don't Starve, is selling a uh, crab plush that apparently makes noise. It's pretty cool. I do have their hissing spiders, and the cave spiders too, as well as their beefalo, and Chester. They pretty much have all of their plushes, kind of. <laughs> They're very soft and cuddly. Very manly. I would recommend them to any man who's looking to uh, up his testosterone level. I hear rumbling. Don't quite understand what that's about. Is it friendly rumbling? Maybe it's some... the rumbling stomach of a really hungry herbivore? That likes to help out monkeys in distress? Although, I wouldn't really say I'm in distress, and just, you know. I'd say I might be in stress, but not distress, I don't think. Alright, let's see where the uh, waves carry us this time. Oh, are we getting close to another island? Yes, we are. Paradise City, please. This is day seven. We have still not found Paradise City. Makes me sad. Seriously, where's all the green grass and the pretty ladies? Pretty girls, ladies. I think I prefer girl ladies over girls, because girls can encompass like, you know, females of not legal age. It's always a little, a little awkward. But let's get some more gold while we here. That. Oh shit, I just realized I finished all my um, coconut. Damn it. You know what though, I can actually eat uh, butterfly wings and they give me hunger as well as health, which is fantastic. We're actually getting pretty good with our uh, gold supply here. No, 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 please. Use your pickaxe, thank you. Uh... Get the hell away from me, stupid snake. Suck it. Little douchebag. 
who's basically just doing whatever nature has deemed it necessary for him to do. Could have been a her, though. Could have been a her. I don't know. Not that that makes a difference. And there's snakery. Almost at a hundred. A two a hundred. Almost at twenty gold. Wow. I'm impressed by myself. Let's get the uh berries while we're here. Fantastic. It's night again. Why must it be night again? Why must this come every night? I guess that's why it's called night, because it comes every night. No, that's not what they call it night. Where can I get a campfire going? I don't want to set the whole friggin' forest on fire. Smokey Bear told me not to. And I have to listen to Smokey Bear. Because he's a bear with, I guess, smoky eyes? Maybe? Maybe you like to put on makeup? Oh, you know what? Let's eat the berries. Fantastic. Good job, Wilbur. Good job. You've survived a week here. It's promising. Kind of. Let's uh, stock up on wood before we get the hell out of here. And we are gonna get off this island. Okay, great. See that? That's why we can't be here. Because we're not welcome, apparently. The natives don't appreciate us. When did I get so many rocks? I need to get these rocks off. There you go. Fantastic. Uh, that's just leading us to the not paradise city. Is this another pretend? This is another island. Although I do have to watch out with the um, settling on an island where there's pigs. Has come full moon. They turn into not so friendly pigs. Damn it! Did I tell you to do that? I did. That was my fault. Completely my bad. But still, you should have known better. Stink rays. The banes of my existence. Anything here? No? I was kind of expecting the yard to post, to be honest. Uh, maybe something this way? Oh, another island. What could it be? Please. Tell me it's uh, Paradise City. It's looking pretty big. Got a lot of uh, twigs and grass, which is a huge plus. That being said, it's all sand. Oh wait, no, it's uh, got a mangrove pond in the middle. Not sure if that's going to be completely useful. Considering that I didn't use... Need to use, um... Water beefalo at all. As Weber. Oh, we've got a yam farm. Fantastic. Sweet, and we've got hounds incoming. Which is always lovely. And it's also getting pitch black. Good job. Alright. Let's eat my batters. As we prepare for the oncoming attack. By those jerks. Uh, it doesn't have magma land. But it does have a good source of food. So maybe this wouldn't be a bad place to set up camp? I don't necessarily need magma land. The only reason I kind of want it is, um... Well, they got the fissures and stuff. Which... Actually may not be the best idea. So you know what? I think this might be our, uh... This might be our little... Our little thing here. Our, by thing, I mean, of course, um... To say that this might be our... What am I looking for? What's the word I'm looking for here, guys? This might be our island? Alright, well, let's this, uh, go out. And we'll deal with the dogs that are coming. Oh, from both sides, eh? Okay. Well, let's just make sure that my speed is at zero, so I don't... Okay. Oh, damn. Shit, you son of a bitch! 
Oh, that was embarrassing. Usually, I'm pretty good at um, dodging the dogs and never getting hit. Oh, that's one thing you have to watch out as Wilbur is uh, because he runs slower. Kiting um, monsters is a little bit more difficult. You basically can't kite as well as you can with other mobs because right after you attack, you default to running, and running is slower for Wilbur. Hence, kiting is more difficult for Wilbur. Come on. Let's die, buddy. Thank you. Thank you for your uh, generous donation to my general well-being. Where do we want to set up our actual camp? I'm thinking somewhere in the middle of this island here. Because if it comes to be volcano season, I don't want a volcano to... Or the firing... Fiery rocks to accidentally land on um, the yam forest and... Or the yam farm and just set everything on fire. That being said though, it seems like this place is closer to the pigs as well as the bees. And like Nicolas Cage, we can't be around bees during springtime. Although it wasn't necessarily anything to do with springtime, but you know. Maybe we'll set it up a little farther south? Or even to the... You know what, let's set it up to the west here. And you know what, if we don't like this place, we'll just set up camp somewhere else. It's a good idea to have like multiple camps anyway, so... It's all good. Yeah, let's get it started here. Let's get a science machine, and you know what I should have done? Is I should have... Gotten... You know what, cut stone? It's okay, I don't... Quite... Never mind. And I'm not even gonna finish that thought, because it's... I just realized that it doesn't make any sense, and it's stupid. Right, let's get some more... Board. We need more board. Thank you. Oh god. Oh, jeez, I thought I was being attacked by a snake for some reason. I don't know why. I just... thought that. I don't know why, okay, just... It is what it is, sometimes you have weird thoughts. What am I supposed to say about that? Fantastic. Oh, we got egg. Yay. Oh, no. I didn't want you to do that. That's not what I asked you to do. But you did it anyways, because you're Wilbur. And you basically obey every command I give you. Wow. An egg for every tree. Am I lucky? Who knows? No, Mr. Snake. I will not buy your um, timeshare. Thank you. Fantastic. Oh, I got a blue mushroom there. It's good for health stuff. At least, I think so. Because I think the best combo is uncooked blue mushroom and green mushroom. Because blue mushroom will reduce your sanity. Whereas the cooked, mush cooked green mushroom will increase your sanity. And blue mushroom actually brings your health back up. But I think that's the combination you usually, usually use for... Um, like quick health regen. Could be wrong. Could be wrong. Okay, alchemy engine. Fantastic. Let's break this thing down. Nice. And what do we need to do? We need to get a chimney going. So we need two sand and two limestone. Thankfully, there is a coral farm right over here. Fantastic. How much limestone do we need? I know we need... Uh, let's just... Let's get six, just in case. Because I don't quite remember if I need... Two? Or three coral to make one limestone? Where's my... There it is. Three. Good. Yay! I actually uh, did something smart for once. Yay! 
Let's dig this. You dig? Atta boy. Let's get a chimney going. Fantastic. Oh, I only needed two sand? Ah, jeez. You know what? I came up on the, um... Came up one on the... Limestone thing, and one down with the sand thing. That's okay. Did that make any sense at all? I don't think so. That's fine. Fantastic. Let's also get a boat torch going. Lovely. And we'll make the regal stuff in a second. What we need to do is we actually need to get our base um, all lined up with the uh, wooden flooring and shit. Because I believe wooden flooring is imper or any kind of like man-made flooring tile is like impervious or supposed to be impervious to uh, flooding via the the rain. If I'm not mistaken? At least that's what I think, I don't know. It could be wrong. Damn it, you stupid snake! Get out of my face! No, no, no. No. I want you to axe that tree down, thank you. Man, lots of eggs around here. Have you guys realized that people, that humans chop down birdhouses? To make birdhouses? Crazy, right? Think about it. We get another doubloon, we can actually just turn this stack into, um... Whatchamacallit? Into gold. That'd be really nice. Place some of my inventory, you know? But, I think we're gonna have to leave it off here for now, as we are currently at the end of this episode. But, we will be back! in the next episode for some more Don't Starve. And this is, I'm hoping, going to be a fun and exciting uh, uh, miniseries. So yeah, please join me again tomorrow as we play some more Don't Starve miniseries as uh, Wilbur. Yeah, thanks for watching and have a good breakfast.